Hi kids, I'm Honey, and tonight's bedtime story is Where Do Steam Trains Sleep at Night? by Brianna Kaplan Sayers, illustrated by Christian Slade. Where do steam trains sleep at night after puffing down the tracks? Do their moms steam up hot cocoa for their just-before-bed snacks? Where do snowplow trains sleep after all the tracks are clear? Do their moms say, Plow your toys, kids! Bedtime's almost here! Where do passenger trains sleep once they've dropped off girls and boys? Do they fill their seats with teddy bears and cuddly bedtime toys? Where do freight trains sleep at night when cargo's reached its destination? Do they rest on Daddy's flatbed as he chugs home to the station? Where do monorails sleep once their one-track trips are done? Do they sway to sleep on sky-high tracks beneath the setting sun? Where do fire trains sleep when they are heroes of the hour? Do dads hose them down with water? For a special bedtime shower? Where do high speed trains sleep after a day of crazy speeding? Do train moms try to calm them down with sleepy bedtime reading? Where do breakdown trains sleep once they've put engines back on rails? Do their dads rock them off to sleep with thrilling rescue tales? Where do trolleys sleep at night after shuttling through the streets? Do mama trolleys ring their train bells for a lullaby, soft and sweet? Where do subway trains sleep once they've reached their final stop? Does the street become their blanket? A quilt of city lights on top? Do trains gather in a roadhouse or a freight yard or a shed? They don't sleep atop a mattress. The tracks become their bed. But they have a special blankie and an oh-so-bright nightlight. They sleep beneath the crescent moon and a sky of stars so bright. Where do your trains sleep at night when you've drifted off to dreamland? Well, maybe all your choo-choos are fast asleep in steamland. The end. Come back again tomorrow night for another adventure. Good night.